And of course, uh, we have Dr. Wendy Lee, who's an internationally sought after speaker with over 20 years of experience, who has impacted the lives of more than 250,000 corporate individuals through her leadership in the field of brand image. Uh, she sits on numerous association boards, so it's a pleasure to have her here today. Speakers, step out in style. Ladies and gentlemen, put our hands together. Welcome, Dr. Wendy Lee. Convention, so very interesting. Uh, usually, my crowd will be a little bit more quiet, but today it's like partying from last night until today. <laughs> Wonderful, right? Okay, good. So, now I have, I think I over prepared my slides, so it's going to be a little bit faster if you are okay with my speed. Right? Okay, my speed, yeah? So, let me just do a quick introduction of myself. My name is Wendy. Okay, so I don't usually use a clicker, uh, but today I'm given one and the clicker is not moving. <laughs> Uh, danger, it's not moving. Okay, while we are fixing that, interestingly, um, <laughs> oh, okay, it's here. Alright, so I give you these three numbers, 23, 7, and 20. Somebody was asking me the other day whether 7 is the size of my waist, inches. I said, oh, if the size of my waist is 7 inches, I don't have to do any workouts anymore, yeah? So 23, 7, and 20, 23 are the years that I spent studying, and then after that, 7 and 8 years, I was in the corporate sector, and then after that, for the past... 20 over years, I've been uh, a, a, a consultant, a trainer. I've known Matt since the day I first started, but nobody asked me to join, so I didn't join. Oh, <laughs> so a couple of months ago, Shama said, please join, so I joined. And, and uh, Siva said, please speak, so I speak. Please pay, I pay. <laughs> Such an obedient uh, trainer, isn't it, right? So I've been doing this for many, many years already, and it's still not moving, I don't know why. Okay. So it's not, ah, okay. So let me see. Where, where do I point this? I point this? Yeah. Point this. Okay. So you'll be the one that is. Uh, am I am I am I controlling or are you controlling? So it's not moving. Ah, okay. Oh, I'll just stand here. Alright, so I'm based there, section 13, Sha'alam, and this is one of the reasons why I asked for a morning session. Uh, because that is a place if it rains now. I will get stuck. It, it's always flooded. <laughs> so the, the, the previous flood, right, uh, my, my place was actually affected very badly. Yeah. Not my office per se, but the outside area. Okay. So what have I been doing? I've been uh, doing image consultancy for the past many, many years already. And the clicker is not moving, so I'll just forget about this. And uh, can you press? I press. Okay, see, I press. Yeah. Ah. Right, okay. So, oh, I have to point here. Is it? I have to point here. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> yes, and then you do it, right? So my company's name is known as Chapter One, and over the years we've actually developed into an institute where we also train image consultants as well. So at least you have an idea what we do. And today we've actually trained about 150 over image consultants, uh, and these are some of the uh, um, you know the programs that we do. See, I'm pointing at you again, and it's not moving. All right, yay. Okay, so I'll cut short whatever uh, introduction of myself and I'll go straight into what I need to do now, okay? So can I ask you to do this? Don't look at the slides. I want you to turn and look at your friend beside you. Alright, anyone, okay? okay why, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Can I have everybody stand up please? Come. I want you to go and find a person, alright? Not from your table, anyone, alright? But the person uh, must be somebody, when you look at him, he or she is somebody that you think you can trust. Alright? Uh, so, anyone? Just look for someone, yeah? Somebody that you think you can trust. Alright? Uh, can trust, huh? Can trust, yeah? Okay, good. Okay, so here's the instruction. The instruction is this, right? Now, I want you... I want you, yeah, yourself, right, to give yourself a point from 1 to 10. 1 meaning to say that you have a lot of improvements to do in terms of your style and your image, right? 10 if you think you're perfect. So give yourself that mark first. Uh, uh, don't tell your friend, just give yourself that mark first. From 1 to 10. 1 meaning to say you need to have a lot of improvements. 10 if you think you're perfect, right? Okay. Yeah, you got yourself that mark? Alright, now can you turn and look at your friend? Turn and look at your friend, right? Even if you have three persons, it doesn't matter. 
Yeah. Yeah. Turn and look at your friend, and I want you now to quietly look at your friend in your heart. In your heart first, yeah. Give your friend that that point. Yeah, you give them the point, but don't say it out yet. All right, one to ten. One if you think that the person needs a lot of improvement. Ten if you think that the person is perfect. All right. Got it? Okay, good. All right. Now, can you? Now you already have a point on your own, right? Yes. Okay. Now, can you ask your friend? To tell you what is the point they've given to you. Yeah. Be honest, yeah? Be honest. Ah, you have to give each other a point. Right. No, no, no. One minute. One minute of uh, improvement, okay? Yes? Tell your friends? Alright, okay, come. Now, can everybody turn to me? I want to ask you this. Ah, turn to me, right? Who among you that your friends told you their points is above what you have given yourself? Right, good. Okay, can you turn and look at that friend? That is a dangerous friend. Right? Because he or she could bluff you. Right? Now, who among you, your friends gave you your, a point that is a bit lower than what you have given to yourself? Lower, lower. That means, let's say, for example, you give yourself five and that friend gives you four. Okay, uh, turn and look at that friend. That is a useless friend. Can I show a show of hands? Who among you, right? Your friends gave you more or less the same point. Four or five, more or less the same. Ah, that is a friend for life. Right? Okay. Look at your friend's eyebrows. Right? Easier for you to see. 
check and see whether the end of the eyebrows by right should be higher than the front. Uh, the, the end of the eyebrow by right should be higher than the front of the eyebrows. The end of your eyebrows must be higher than the front of your eyebrows. Okay. Ah, by right should be higher. Okay.
not see, right? Yeah? So how? So what can you do? Instead of this shirt, what can I do? You need the darker shirt. Oh, you can just take off your shirt. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah? So you will need a darker shirt or auto jacket. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying that. Huh? Okay, so if you want to add a jacket on him, that would be nice. Alright, whereas for him, he doesn't need to do anything, forever he looks handsome. Alright, thank you very much. So, this is the thing with contrast. So, same thing as ladies as well. Let me give you a very good example. Eh? If you look at Farida, right? It is your Farida. Farida, you just stand up. Ah, okay. now, now, if you look at her, I want you to compare her head scarf and her skin. Is that a high contrast or is it a medium contrast or is it a low contrast? Low, low right? So, if there's one thing that I can do on her, I'll put on her is what? Only scarves. If let's say I don't want to change the, the scarf, tak mau tukar tudung. Ah ah, very good. So all she needs to do is <laughs> the lipstick has to be a bit redder, and then that's it. Right? Thank you. Okay. So this is the thing, yeah. Very important, especially if you are a speaker, right? And you know when you have a lot of participants with you, right? And you have no choice, yeah. You have to stand out. Okay. So I want to show you this now. This guy is uh, a reporter from CNA, okay? So I want you to say this, because this was a very interesting, uh, Mr. Cho, I know you're not listening in, yeah? But I want you to look at him, right? If you look at a picture of him, yeah? People of okay. Myanmar. Okay, let me go back. No, this is Myanmar, okay, Cho. I can't go back, is it? Okay, so I want you to have a look at this first, yeah? And you will notice, of course there's a glare there, um, he has quite a low contrast, he's not moving again. People of Myanmar. Okay, look at this, yeah? See? For no, her, she has high contrast. Oops, what happened? Okay, yeah? Look at this. And when he appears, I want you to just have a quick look at when he appears. People of Myanmar. No, this young YK joins us with a very, very nice contrast. Authorities warning, as you just heard, a warning protesters that they might suffer loss of life today if they go out and protest. What do you mean? So I just wanted to have a look at this because why? Do anything to stop protesters in any way. Generally speaking, right, we can't do much if you're a guy, you cannot put on lipstick and all that, right? Okay? So you have to be a little bit more mindful, especially when you're going virtually, yeah? whether you have high contrast or low contrast. So let me show you an example. Of course, you can't really see this very clearly. But um, when he's sitting together with other news anchor, right, he has slightly a slight disadvantage because he's got so such a low contrast. So by right, right, this kind of clothing is not good for him. So let me give you an example, right? What he must be choosing should be something like this. So at least there is a contrast. Okay? Can you see? Right? So pay a little bit more attention to your contrast, yeah? Um, uh, when, especially when you go virtual, yeah? And if you're standing in front here, um, depending on the crowd as well, the bigger the crowd, the higher your contrast, right? So you can wear something like a red jacket, yellow jacket, orange jacket, right, for example, if the crowd is big, right? But if, let's say, this is a small uh, setup like this, then, of course, you can tone down your contrast a little bit, okay? So this, this is uh, important for all of us to know, right? Okay, now let's look at the last one, and let's look at the lady here, okay? See? Oops. Go back to here. Ah, see? Low contrast. So check your head scarf. If your head scarf has low contrast, right? What you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a little bit of makeup on. Right? So this is something that is uh, uh, important for everyone to know. Okay? <laughs> yes. Must chat a little bit. All right. Okay. So now it's back to work. Okay? So let me check my time. Okay. I have so much to share. Oh, 11.08. Right. So now can I have everybody stand up? I want you to find another partner. Okay. So this is very practical. I want you to always remember this. Anyone? <laughs> ah, anyone? You can find two partners, three partners, doesn't matter. Yeah? But I want you to take a look at each other. Okay. Right? Ah, okay, good. Right. So the guys, I realize the guys like to go threesome. Hey, don't go threesome. <laughs> So I'm going to share with you three things, which is important for you, uh, easy way to 
to, to, to take back as a tip, right? If you want to, you know, the next time when you are on stage or when you're going for a training and all, that, and all that, you want to be a little bit more stylish, okay? So number one, can you turn and look at your friend, all right? Okay, good. I want you to look for vertical lines. Vertical lines. Vertical lines. Vertical lines meaning to say straight lines. Straight lines. Not everyone has a vertical line. I want you to check and see. You need to stand a bit further away, yeah? let's say like oh, uh, one or two feet away. Ah, yes. A lot of you have vertical lines just that you did not realize. What is vertical line? Vertical line is straight, yeah? Okay. So who, when you're looking at your friend, who has a vertical line? Not everybody has a vertical line. Yes, she has a vertical line. Okay. So let me give you a very typical vertical line, yeah? Our cameraman, everybody looks at the cameraman, he's got a vertical line, right? Okay, the shirt is a vertical line. So if you were to wear a vertical line shirt, what does it say? You will look what? Slimmer and taller, isn't it? Okay, however, Vertical lines are not confined to lines, yeah? If you were to wear a blazer, all of you, most of you will have a blazer on, right? Yeah. Whenever you have your blazer, you'll notice that the lapels open up in the, in the front part. That is what we call a vertical line. So, if you look at what Sumati has, right? Can you see there's a vertical line in the middle here? Right? Ah, that is a vertical line. So, the more vertical line you have, the taller you're going to look. Right? Okay, so that is, that is one of the very important things, yeah? Okay. So look at the, ah, if you wear a blazer, right, they're always in vertical line. If you wear pants for ladies, you will notice, yeah, these two columns are your vertical lines, okay? As compared to a skirt, skirt is not so much of a vertical line, right? So being like that, so panjang, automatically you look taller, okay? So that's number one, all right? Okay, good. Ah, taller. You can opt for vertical line or you can opt for a nice skirt. <laughs> Right, that's that. That's what will give you a little bit more height, yeah. Okay, number one. Number two, I want you to look at your friend, yeah. And now I want you to look for a focus point. Focus point. Okay, what is a focus point? Focus point is this, is this, yeah. You close your eye and you open your eyes. What is the first thing you see? Belly button. <laughs> that is your focus point. You open your eyes and you close your eyes. What is the first thing that you see? So if you can, you must always have focus point. Okay, very easy if you look at Purpa. Where is his focus point? Turban. Turban, right? So that is his focus point, okay? If you were to look at our friend here, Epi. Epi Azad, where is the focus point? The glow is a, is a focus point, right? Okay, <laughs> yes. So sometimes your beard, your facial hair can also be a focus point. You look at our friend here, I love her hair color. That is a focus point, right? So you need a focus point, especially when you go for networking events and you are going for a place where you need people to remember you, you need to have a focus point. So I need to keep my unit. Okay? <laughs> so for guys, one of the very easy focus points for you to do is what? Put on a lapel pin. If you are having a jacket, get yourself a very nice lapel pin. That's one. Pocket square or your handkerchief. Just like uh, Anwar, right? You're wearing a... Uh, 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 a pocket square, that is also a focus point. Okay? Make it easier for people to remember you. Alright? Okay, number two. Number three. Now, I want you to turn and look at your friend and then check who repeated colour twice. <laughs> repeated colour, grey and grey. Yes. Yeah. If you can repeat your colours, that would be nice. So let me give you an example. If you look at Kesh, where did he repeat his color? White. 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 Shoes and the shirt. So that's what we call repeat colors. Okay. It's if you are if you're wearing a blazer and you have a black T-shirt, for example, you can have your little pocket square as black color as well. That is what we call repeat color. Okay. So once you repeat colors, right now for ladies, it's a, a, a lot easier for us because why? You wear your head scarf, right? You look at Ira. She wears a red head scarf. Where did she repeat her color? The baju, right? The, the, the blouse and all that is so much easier. For men, I want you to make an, an effort to do it. Okay? So if you make an effort to do it right, it will, it will give you that little extra style, yeah? Um, and without 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 being too loud. Okay? So I want you to see this, yeah? Now, interestingly, when I looked at him this morning, right? Oh, okay, the are MC, huh? So I want to show you something. Today, let's say if I switch his shirt 
into a black color shirt. So you have to be very careful, yeah? This is what happens. when it, let, Assuming now this is black in color. Let's say the tie is also in dark colors, okay? And the fact that he wears white uh, sports shoes, for example, right? In image terms, this is what we call eyes down. Okay? So be very careful, yeah? Especially for ladies, sometimes you wear your bling bling shoes below, okay? And this is what we call eyes down. If you wear white pants, that is what we call eyes down. Right? <laughs> yeah, you look down, okay? If you look at Fun Pao, he's got very nice buckle there, so I'll always look there. Right? <laughs> yes, okay? That is what we call eyes down. Yeah, shiny, right? Now, when you wear eyes down, ladies, if you were to wear eyes down, right, automatically we will look shorter. Okay? So you have to be very careful. If you wear eyes down, you need to pull the eyes back with you. So what did he do? Because he wears eyes down, right? What did he do? He wears white on top again. Ah, which I do, all right? So you need to make sure both of it, right, is actually equivalent. Then only you look a bit more balanced. Okay, good, all right? So thank your friend for rating you. Yeah. Very good, okay. Danya, how much time do I have? Two minutes, okay. So I have two more minutes. Let me give you some slides over here, right? And uh, you have a look at this. Okay, who is this? Kachuka. Everybody knows this, right? So this is Kachuka. Eyes down, right? Who is this? Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger. Yeah. So interesting. You can, you can, you see and then you identify, right? Okay. Who is this? Kachuka. Uh, right? If you're Malaysian, you should know, right? So you will notice, yeah, your clothing represent you. So let me give you an example. Who wears? <laughs> red tie. Who is on this red tie? Trump, right? And Obama will be blue tie. See? So, this is what happens to all of us, right? As a speaker, as a trainer, wherever you appear, on your Facebook, on your social media, on your LinkedIn and all that, every day you're educating people on how to look at you. So, be a bit more mindful of what you project out. Okay? So, because we remember things like this, yeah? very visual. So, always take care of our image. Doesn't matter whether you're physical or whether you're virtual, right? Uh, people will remember you as such, right? So let's look at this, yeah? How to dress to look awesome? So this will be a recap of what we had, uh, what we said earlier on. I'm going to go a little faster. What do you see this? Vertical, vertical lines. lines, right? So try to have a bit more vertical lines. I'll show you the ladies first and I'll show you the men, right? So wear vertical lines. So vertical lines is not limited to your lines. It can be your ruffles, it can be your, 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 your color panels, right? As long as you have a vertical line. And if your vertical lines run down right in the middle of your body, you will always look a lot taller. Okay, so for ladies, just pay a little bit more attention to this. See now it's running right in the middle of the body. Okay, so that's what we call your vertical lines. So choosing your best style, number one, wear vertical lines. Right? Number two, let's go into this. Okay, this is Michael Kors advertisement. What do you see here? Horizontal lines. Ah, ah, no, remember the, sec the, first, the second thing, what did I say? The pink colour, yeah, oh, the men are replying me, good, okay? So I'm repeating colours, yeah, so you have green and greens, right? So again, yeah, a lot of this uh, is actually being taught to us, it's just that people don't uh, uh, point it up to you, okay? So from today onwards, pay a little bit more attention, if you can repeat colours, that would be nice, okay? So you have your repeating colours, you have your repeating colours, right? This is coach, same thing as well, okay? I have all this, repeating colours. Alright, if you want to have these slides that you can ask for uh, Siva later on, yeah, and this will be uh, LV, and LV will repeat colors, alright? So the next time, if you run out of ideas on how to repeat your colors, you can always repeat the colors of your car. See, the handbag and the car matches. Oh. Yeah, so this is something that you can do as well. Yeah? So you can see all this, right? All these are all repeat colors, examples of repeating colors will always make you look a little bit more nicer, alright? Okay, so to see your best style, number two, when you're repeating your colors, and what is this? Last one? Focus, focus, focus point. point. Okay, so pay a little bit more attention to this, especially when you're going for events, like I said. Yeah, you want people to take notice of you, right? Or to make your clothing a little bit more interesting, pay a little bit more focus point. So remember, focus point one is good. Try not to have too many focus points. Yeah? Uh, too much focus point, right? It will become a little bit more messy. Alright? So just one will do. Okay? So see, focus point, focus point, a lot of focus points. Okay, so don't go too many focus points. <laughs> Alright? So the third one will be wear a focus point. Okay? So remember when I said about eyes up, eyes down, yeah? So this is what I call eyes up, eyes down. Okay? So look at your clothing and think about whether today are you wearing eyes up or are you wearing eyes down. Alright, so something simple like this. This is what we call eyes down, this is what we call eyes up. Alright? Ah. 
So if you wear anything ruffles below, you know, same body shape, but because the clothing is slightly a little bit more designed, uh, different designs, you have eyes down, the person will look automatically a little bit more shorter. Okay, so just be a bit more uh, mindful. Yeah? So eyes up, eyes down, this is eyes everywhere. <laughs> All right, so be a bit more careful. Yeah? Okay, and last one, um, let's go into this. Okay, just to give you an example, this is uh, Amar, George Clooney's wife, right? So if you look at her, she's always being photographed. They follow similar rule as well. Yeah, they are vertical lines, they are repeating colors and all that. Okay, good. Right, so choosing your best style for ladies, this will be your three points. So for guys, simple thing as well. Uh, we've already said this before. Um, repeat your material. So guys, quick one, can you just check on something? Look at the buckle of your, your belt, if you are wearing a belt. Okay, uh, look at the buckle, right? So if your buckle is gold, make sure that whatever uh, accessories that you have or your watch and all that is also gold as well. So repeat your materials. See? Gold and gold, silver and silver. Finishing, right? One more minute, done. Okay, so pay a little bit more attention to your jacket as well. A lot of people don't forget about this. It's always like this. Yeah? If your jacket is a little bit more casual, make sure your shoes are casual as well. Right? If your jacket is a little bit more formal, uh, you can't really see because it's, it's, uh, there's a glare there. But basically, go up and down, similar material. Yeah? Jacket on top formal, pants must, uh, your shoes must also be a bit more formal. Right? Okay, so I'll skip this. Yeah, a bit more blurred, you can't see. So that's point number one for guys. Point number two, same thing as what the girls did, right? Repeating your colours. So if you have brown belt, usually people will say brown shoes. Very simple, everyone knows this, yeah? But you can do other things as well. See, jacket and your, your shoes. You can do something like this. Or you can have your pocket square repeating the colour of your pants. Alright? Alright, so this is something similar. Okay, so remember all to repeat your colours. Okay, so second one, repeat your colours for men, right? Repeat your materials, repeat your colours. Automatically, once you step up, right, you will be in style looking. Alright, so thank you very much. Yeah, so I hope you can come Thank you, Wendy. That was a lot of stuff in a short time. Thank you so much for joining, Max, and thank you so much for sharing all this with us. Uh, we'll have a repeat next time with you as well.